guys, welcome to Laura the Vegetable Girl. <laughs> My name is Laura Tunes. Today I'm here with the wonderful Sunyata at the Satman of Yoga Ashram. It is an honor to be here. Thank you. It's wonderful to have you as always. Laura is one of our favorite guests. We always get in the kitchen together and make wonderful, delicious food. She's my favorite chopper. Yes. Um, so today we're at Satman of Yoga Ashram in the western mountains of Maine. We are a traditional yoga community. Um, everyone here is practicing yogis and we're all plant-powered yogis. We have a completely vegan diet, um, no dairy products or animal products of any kind. Um, it's been my great privilege to be the ashram chef for over 10 years now. And my job is to, com to continually provide nourishing, healthy food that has a very little effect on the digestive system so that everybody can focus on their yoga practice, have calm minds, and just feel all the love. And it's always delicious, Thank by you the way. very much. So good. <laughs> oh. So today we're going to be doing one of my favorite recipes, which is chickpea scrambler. Um, I like to use this recipe when I have um, not very large groups because you kind of have to make it pan by pan. Um, but it's really a very versatile batter that you can use to make omelets, you can use to make kind of a scrambled egg, it can also be used as a bread, um, as a gluten-free alternative round bread. Um, so you can use it for sandwiches and things like that. It's also good uh, with Indian food. You can just make the pancake and pour your dal on top of it. Ooh, it's just yummy. so versatile that when you're first starting out with any kind of plant-based recipe, you sometimes are like, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to make. Certain people have kind of a preconceived idea that um, vegan food may be bland and not have mm -hmm. a lot of flavor, but all spices are vegan. So yes. it's <laughs> just use those spices. <laughs> so today we'll start with the basics of the chickpea batter and then we'll give you some alternative suggestions and then you can add your own creative touches to it. All right, so let's get to cooking. Let's get in the kitchen. Woohoo! <laughs> Here right. we are in the ashram kitchen. So Laura, for today's recipe for chickpea scrambler, we're gonna be using two cups of chickpea flour, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, a half a teaspoon of Himalayan salt, um, about one leaf of kale, and about six leaves of basil, half of a red pepper, and a tablespoon of nutritional yeast. And we're gonna start mixing our batter with about two cups of water until we get the right consistency. Perfect. Are you mixing all, you mix in all the dry you ingredients? Mix all the right? dry ingredients Perfect. with the water. Make a pancake like batter. It's good to use a sifter with chickpea flour sometimes too because it gets clumpy. So, this is the baking soda, nutritional yeast, salt, and chickpea flour with water. And see as we whisk, a nice pancake like batter. Awesome. Now we're going to heat up our cast iron pan. This is going to take a second. But, so we're going to add a little oil. Don't need to measure on that one. Just enough to coat the bottom of the pan. And once it's warm, we're going to add our red peppers. And you can taste your salt. Once that's going good, we're going to add our kale and basil. So the kale and the basil are from the garden today. Yay! Yay! Look at that! Delicious! So it's almost ready for us to add our chicken batter. Cooking scrambled eggs. Yes, exactly. So you cook all the vegetables nicely and then you add the yep. scrambler. And then you add the scrambler. Yep. Nice. Alright, so our peppers are soft. Our kale is wilted. So we're going to add our batter. We just want to make sure that the batter gets on the pan where the oil is. And it's going to kind of bubble and solidify a little bit and then we know that we can start flipping it around. Otherwise at first it's just all squishy and it doesn't. 
It almost looks like a semi pancake. It is. Yeah, you can use chickpea batter to make pancakes. Perfect. It makes a really good bread, like an alternative uh, gluten free sandwich bread. Um, you can use it in replacement of chapati or tortilla. You can cover it in maple syrup and use it as an actual pancake. Awesome. You can make vegan omelets with it. Yum. This is another very yummy thing. It's a very similar process, only you would sprinkle in some cheese in the middle and fold it rather than scramble it up. Awesome. Mm -hmm. It's a favorite with the kids around here. So as you can see, the bottom has cooked, so now you can kind of start flipping it around in the pan. And we'll let the bottom side of this cook. Try to turn all the batter over. Perfect. And it's very quick. Yeah, that's convenient. Very convenient. You can also make your batter up the night before. Awesome. Let it sit all night in the refrigerator and then it's ready to go in the morning. That's awesome. You can probably use it for a couple days too on that, right? You could cook one day and then run it again tomorrow. Right? The batter's ready to go. So now we just have a couple of little pieces of batter left that need to get on the pan. And we're almost done. It's very fluffy and light. So when you Perfect. first put your oil in, you have to make sure you have enough that the vegetables will absorb some, but you still have enough for surface area for the scrambler part. Perfect. So there it is. And voila. All right, our scrambler is done. Laura, would you like to try it? Yes. <laughs> it's my favorite part. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. My favorite part of cooking is watching other people eat what I make. Mm. <laughs> It's so good. <laughs> Excuse me. So, yeah, so this is absolutely delicious. Oh, I'm glad you love it. I can't it's, believe there's no eggs. It's awesome. It's a great alternative to eggs. It's a wonderful dish to make for people that are not convinced that being vegan is a satiating or taste-filled experience at all. So <laughs> yes, it is. It just takes a little creativity. That's and right. Sunyata here is so creative. Her food Thank is you. always delicious. This is <laughs> absolutely amazing. I highly recommend trying it. It's a healthier lifestyle. Enjoy. Enjoy. Thank you very much for joining us. Laura the Vegetable Girl. Again, my name is Laura Toons. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you next time.